All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another live match day vlog. And today, today is going to be a buzzing atmosphere, right? Jalan Besar is going to be packed full of people. And who do I have here as usual? Joshua is finally back with me. It's let's good go. to let's go, Singapore. Let's go. Um, yeah. So today is going to be Singapore versus Vietnam at the Jalan Besar Stadium, right? And you know. Look at the car. I don't look at the. the it's, it's, like, I don't know if you guys see the cars. It's all traffic is getting a bit chaotic right now. It's about one hour fifteen minutes before the game starts. Uh, we are looking at traffic right now because we don't want to get run over by a car. So you know, vibes are good. Uh, the chats are buzzing. The the community chat is buzzing. So many people are going to be at the game. Uh, you know, truth be told, today's game is going to be a bit. A lot of people are expecting it to be a one-sided affair. Uh, well, but you know, we as Singaporeans, we need to show support to the lads, to the team. Uh, maybe move in a bit first. Okay, don't mind us. There's, the traffic is pretty tight here, so we are start stop. We are having this kind of like interruptions here. And there. But Josh, it's been a while. How are you there, mate? Doing good, doing good. Excited to watch another game at Jalan Besar with you. Yeah. And of course, donning the new Singapore jersey. Of course, of course. So, yeah, I'm really excited for the game. It'll be very interesting to see how Singapore approach it, whether what team is going to come out. Yep. It'll be interesting to see if you rest players, like some people are suggesting. And then, you know, whether we go all out defense, whether we go and try and take the game to Vietnam, I think that would be quite dangerous. But yeah, excited for the game. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. The fact that uh, we may, I think, I, I, I mean, in the live streams with the preview, right, uh, with the community, I did mention that we should go kamikaze style for the first 10-20 minutes, you know, let's just go all out and see how it works out because Vietnam is going to be too strong for opposition today, in my opinion. But, you know, stranger things have happened in football. We, uh, hopefully, Jalan Basar is going to be rocking today. And um, the lineups, you were talking about lineups, I think it's not out yet, right, if I'm not wrong. Maybe another 10-15 minutes. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what do we have? Uh, let's, we are going to turn into Jalan Basar now. Uh, maybe I can ask you, Josh. Who do you want to start today, or who do you think is going to be the your predicted lineup for Singapore? Okay, okay. I think you know, maybe I can just allude to your point earlier about you know uh, going kamakaze. I think that'll be very, very dangerous because you know first 10, 20, 20 minutes maybe you can match them, but after that period, yep, the players will tire out and then the intensity will get to us. Yep. But uh, anyway, my predicted lineups as we cross the road yep. would be of course Hassan in goal. Okay. And then you know. I would like to see Irfan, Haris and Shakir at the back. Okay. But Even Shakir though, has left centre back, right? Yes, That's correct. Even though we right? might see Anu there, mm. which I hope we don't. Yeah. And then left wing back, hmm, it's gonna be a tough one, but we're gonna be Chris. Right wing back, I hope to see Raihan there. But you know, we're probably gonna see Hafiz there. Yeah. And then centre mid. Shadan and Zufami. Basically, it's the lineup which I said I preferred from yes, the start. From the from the preview of our preview show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. But actually, maybe up front, you know, I might not start Ilhan this mm. game. I think we might do better with Faris and Shawal up front and Song behind. So okay. a bit more players who can be a threat on the counter. I feel Ilhan plays better when we have the ball. He can make things happen, and then we put the ball into him. So, yeah, maybe that would be the only change from my preferred lineup, yeah. which would be. Um, who is it? Faris instead Faris. of Ilhan. Yeah. yeah, Faris. How about you? Uh, okay, let's before I go on to my predicted lineup, let's look at the crowd here outside Jalan Besar. It's freaking, it's packed. Yep, hold on, there's a car. Okay, look at this. There's a Vietnamese fans are filing up the stadium. This is the gallery side. Gallery side is going to be the away for the away fans with the Singa Brigade. So it's going to be fi a, a quite feisty affair. Look at all the Vietnamese here. Great, great turnout from the fans here. You know, it's good to see that Vietnam supporting their country here in Singapore. Uh, yeah, you know, if you guys have been following the Mitsubishi Electric Cup, you can see that um, their fan supports, you know, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, they are, you know, quite intense with their support here, so it's good to see. And before I go to my predicted lineup, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support. Uh, Joshua and I, we really appreciate it. You know, hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs thus far. And what am I rocking today? Joshua's obviously rocking the new Singapore kit. I'm rocking something special today. I'm rocking the, our newly designed, the gold difference station. Look at that. Uh, behind says the gold difference and the logo, like, nothing too fancy. But yeah, it's for sale. I will definitely check, uh, put the links and how much the uh, uh, t-shirts are going for. Okay, so basically I went, um, I went up to some of the Vietnamese fans asking whether they want to interview, but most of them couldn't speak English. Uh, they were very shy, so... Uh, well, it is what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll get some some interviewees later, you know, during the game, whether it's the Singapore side or after the game, maybe some Vietnamese fans yep. will be lucky. So yeah, we're definitely going to see whether we can interview some people later. But with that being said, 
Uh, just now I said I'm going to do my Projector 11. You know, honestly speaking, I think we should just go Kamikaze style. I know the... I do know what... Uh, like jo I, I echo Joshua's sentiments, you know, it's a bit risky. But we've got nothing to lose here. we really got nothing to lose here. Uh, I think I'll go similar lineup with Josh, but maybe with Ilhan, Chawal and Faris at the top. You know, just to uh, provide some width for Ilhan to, you know, uh, try and expose the Vietnamese defence, which is highly improbable, but nothing's impossible. Uh, with that being said, okay, so... I'll see whether we can go meet some big friends to interview. And yeah, I think the vibes are going to be fantastic. Joshua, anything you want to say to the uh, Go Difference community and to the YouTube channel? Yeah, I mean, I watched the vlog, that, uh, the live stream that day and I saw that people have been disappointed with the performances. So hopefully, hopefully that we'll be proud of the performance even if the result doesn't go our way today. Yep, yep, most definitely. And also, I just realized we're on the north side, right? Yeah. We just made so if you have watched the Singapore Myanmar, I made the same mistake. We are walking to the south gate as always, but no worries, we'll just make the U turn. You'll probably see us next in the stadium. If not, the next time you see us, maybe I'll try and get an interview with some locals. Lah. Ask them for their predictions of the game. Alright, so with that being said, thank you so much for the support. Uh, we are finally early today, so we won't miss, hopefully, we won't miss any footage. Hope so, hope so. I mean, hopefully, you get in fast and then we'll yeah, get to the game and enjoy it. Awesome. You love to see it. Alright, so catch you guys later. Alright, so uh, we are back. So I managed to find some Vietnamese fans to interview. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for doing this inter interview with me. Uh, what's your name? An. An. Uh, Chum. Chum. And my name is Sean. Sean. Okay, very nice to meet you all. Um, is this, are, are you all here for a long time to watch Singapore? Or like, are you guys on a holiday? Or? No, no, no. We all are students. We are students. 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 Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I mean, we are Singaporeans, right? So, obviously, we are going to root for Singapore. But Vietnamese, are, yeah, you guys are very strong. So, what are your thoughts about today's game? Is it very confident to win today? Yeah, I, I think we will win today. We'll win but, uh, today. Uh, to, uh, like, we have a friendly in the side. So, yeah. I think we are not so much. So like it's uh, maybe it's two no or one or two one. Mm, I think two so. one predictions two one. All right, how about you? I would I wouldn't say very confident, but still confident yes. that we're just gonna win this. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yourself? Uh, the score gonna be five five. Uh, just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, both Vietnam and Singapore had very good uh, performance. You uh, you know that they uh, all wins, right? They are low lose for Singapore, right? So I think it's very tough game for Vietnamese guys. Mm. But uh, if uh, with uh, if both team, uh, I hope both team can play well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, hopefully a draw. Draw. Be okay. be because I uh, I stay in the Singapore uh, seat. Yeah. So I, I I don't want to you know if we win I cannot go out. Yeah. No, 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 don't no, say that. No, 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 okay, beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Opponent size, we don't get. <laughs> no, it's good to. The video before the match. <laughs> okay, also, I want to come back home yeah. as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't want to keep you all holding. I think you got your friends also. They went off right. Okay. So thank you so much, people, uh, guys. I really appreciate it. And hopefully to later will be a good game. Yeah. 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 All right. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Remember to share and subscribe, lah. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to this wonderful yeah. guy. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You. All right. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye bye. Sir, thank All you. All right. All Thanks, the best. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome. So fine. You know, we had one agenda on the list, which is to interview some Vietnamese friends, and fan they were a good bunch of uh, lads. Uh, you know, I think they were being very nice to us. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <Subscribe>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean the subscription, all, but they were being very, very nice to us, saying that Singapore has been playing well, but that is far from the truth, in my opinion. I mean, they did state some facts that, you know, Vietnam has won two games, Singapore has won two games, so on paper, on the table, it looks like it's going to be the top two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top two out of the top three who are facing off. But yeah, they are really nice students living in Singapore, and they, they all predicted quite a tight game, right? Yeah, yeah. Draw, two of them, draw, oh no, one, two, one. Two, one. one draw. Yeah, and another one, so I think 3-1, 2-1 also, 3-1 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, the, I mean, Vietnamese people are generally quite polite, you would yes, say. And yes, yes. They were, and hopefully their players are also polite to our <laughs> players on the field today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, before this, we went to like the other, the, the gallery side, right? And then most of them were like the hardcore uh, uh, Vietnamese fans, which more of them mostly couldn't speak English, so it was a bit difficult. Whereas this one, like what Joshua said, they were students, so they were very, very nice. Alright, so there's one checklist down for today. Uh, next one will be to go interview some Singapore fans. Uh, maybe you'll see some familiar faces, like the Gold Difference community. If not, it'll be some random strangers will pop by and we will see how things are going to be like. I just realized I forgot to ask them to subscribe. But it's okay, because they were in a rush as well. So, you know, all good, all good. So, okay, so we interrupt this, uh, your regular program, because uh, I'm actually supposed to meet uh, one of the shows, one of the 
fans from the Gold Difference community. He won himself a Singapore jersey. Here it is. So I'm meeting at the South Gate. So our gate is actually at the North, but you know, I have to uh, make our way back to meet uh, Aloysius, right? He's been always on the stream, so I think it's nice to give back to the community. And this is a player issued 2018 uh, Singapore jersey, size M for him. It's a bit tight, but you know, just to give back to the community. Lah, huh? So cheers, guys. Let's, let's see whether if, he, if he's willing to do an interview with, with the show, because he said he's a bit camera shy. Okay, so uh, I just gave away the jersey, Matt Aloysius. He was a bit shy, so you know, don't want to force it upon him. But yeah, it was a great, great uh, atmosphere. It's, it's a really great atmosphere right now. The, the, the crowds are turning out in numbers. I foresee that Joshua and I are going to be queuing up for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, we are now back, going back to the North Gate again. Um, anything else to report? From us, Josh, you want to say anything, Josh? Yeah, I mean, it's great to see like fans all around just mingling with each other, hoping for a great atmosphere inside the stadium, which I think we'll get. And of course, you know, we also met our friend KY outside, who you may have seen in the previous vlog. So, yeah, just really excited to go in, really see if we can get some food and drinks and settle down before the game. Fantastic. You know, I don't want to say fantastic all the time because I've got some comments, but fantastic. you love to see it. Fantastic. No, anyways, um, as I said earlier on, there's, you know, there's a gold difference t-shirt here. Uh, we printed it in black and white. They are going for $20 each. So if you guys want to order it, let me know in the comments down below. Or, you know, you can DM us on Instagram or if you know, if you're in the community chat, I'll put in a, a blast. I'll blast the message and see if you guys want are interested, yeah? Comes in small, medium, large and XL. So grab your sizes while you can. It's a very comfortable t-shirt, cotton. 100% cotton is very comfortable. And yeah, uh, let's try and interview some Singaporeans and see what's their thoughts about this game. And come on, you lions. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, so we just arrived at the North Gate and look at the crowds here. You know, it's good to see so many people packing the stadium. We are going to walk to the queue right now. Look at the crowds. Looking good. It's what, still have like 45 minutes before kickoff and it's like that. You love to see it. And yeah, let's walk to the, the queue right now. We forgot to mention that we just seen the lineups for Singapore. What are your, Joshua, what are your thoughts about the lineup? We saw that Anu starting, right? Uh, we know that the back three, I'm just going to ask you about your lineups. Uh. Um, the back three was what you predicted Shake Hamza, Haris Harun, and uh, Irfan Fandi at the back. But the midfield, they, they, he spices it up. Nishigaya kind of spices it up, yeah? Thank God we don't have Anu at centre back. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's disappointing we don't see JP21 start. Yep. Yeah. But I mean, back three is what I wanted, the full backs as well. I think going for Anu is a smart choice in midfield. Mm. He can bring about a bit, a bit of steel, and then we have. Um, who do we have in midfield? Shah and... Shah, uh, Shadan and uh, Anu, right? Yeah, Anu is, is a good choice. Shah and Shadan perhaps. Hopefully some creativity and then we have Faris and Ilhan up front. So I think it's a good move. And maybe Shawal off the bench. Perhaps to steal a winning goal, hopefully. But yeah, I think not much surprises and a good lineup. Alright, so um, I'm going to go stop the vlog right now because we want to go into the uh, entrance. Uh, actually, there's not much of a queue, but it's just a lot of people at the waiting at the entrances, so probably waiting for their friends and family and whatnot. With that being said, I'm going to stop the vlog. Uh, till later, I'll see you guys inside the stadium. Alright, so it's about 40 minutes before kickoff. Right? Still a bit empty, bare, but as, as I said, 40 minutes before kickoff. Players are warming up. You can see Haris Harun. Ilhan Fandi, Faris Ramli, right near us, Anu. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm waiting for Josh. Josh is, Josh is in the toilet. Then he said he's going to buy some food because he hasn't had dinner. So we're going to get some food. If we see any friends along here, we're going to interview them. If not, maybe I'll just stop by some strangers and interview them as well. If they're, of course, willing to do it. Lah. Um, so yeah, just now was a bit... The, the light, I hope the lighting was a bit poor outside. So I apologise for that. Okay, so... Uh, Josh has finally got his tacos and a drink. How much did it cost you today? Uh, the nachos were $6 and yeah. the drink was two fifty. But you know what? It's a game of football without some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to have some refreshments, right? Okay, so we, I'm trying to see whether we can meet Zach, but he's at the VIP. But I don't know whether they'll stop us. But yeah, eight fifty for drinks and, you know, sometimes they will takanes here and there, but it's all about the atmosphere and some comfort of some food while watching the game, yeah? Of course, you know, can't compare to like games at in Japan or Europe, but yeah. it's better than nothing. Yeah. Couldn't get the whole uh, lineups, but yeah, we were going on to our seats. Uh, yeah. Josh is tucking to his food. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, watching Singapore having their shooting practice. So this is one of my 
favorite parts of the pre-match warm-up, you know, we see the shooting and you know the crowd can have some cheers before the game. Alright, so it's about 20 minutes before kickoff, and then we made some good friends of the community. We've got um, yeah, Josh, you already know, but of course you also know Zach. Say hi, Zach, and also Owen. Owen's a Space Times journalist, um, and up and coming journalist, I would say. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Uh, yeah, doing good. Yeah, doing good. Zach, as usual, how are you doing today? Yeah, very good. I like the lineup. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna ask you, how do you find the lineup today? I think the 5 3 2 shape, hopefully it's a 5 3 2 shape, yeah. it will stifle Vietnam through the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have, we will have a chance. We will have a chance indeed. So, anyways, just want to ask, what are your predictions for today, lads? I think it will be a 1 0 draw. I think I'm quite optimistic for this game because yeah. I think Vietnam rested some of their key players. Yeah. And, you know, with the 3 5 2 shape, as Zach said, uh, yeah. we have a good chance. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think the rotation and whatnot, we probably have a good chance today. Yeah? Zach, <laughs> come on, I want to hear, you, you know, you always got quite good uh, predictions. How about you, mate? Uh, hopefully a 2-1 win, a smash and grab 2-1 win for oh, Singapore. Smash and grab, you love to see it. Alright, right. So, uh, they are sitting in the VIP section today, so I don't want to hold them up too long. Uh, yeah, so thanks guys for doing this short interview. No we'll maybe you can catch up uh, after the game or whatsoever. Oh, la, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. See you, see you. Okay, so as you can see previously, it's about 10 minutes before kickoff. Um, you saw Zach and Irwin, great friends of the show, like great friends of the community. And I just want to address something today. Finally, the Jalan Besar screen is working. The other day, uh, against uh, Myanmar, the screen wasn't working. So, it's good to see that finally. And yeah, 10 minutes before kickoff, finally we can see the, the walkouts, our, our video, the walkouts, our video, the national anthem. And today's going to be buzzing atmosphere. Stadium is filling up. Let's have a look at Let's pan it to the, the crowd. Okay, so next up, we're going to see, probably going to video the teams walking out. And before that, Joshua, any thoughts before the kickoff? Yeah, I can feel the atmosphere building in here. The fans are loud, you know, everyone's excited. So hopefully we see a good game of football. Awesome. And hey, let's go. Okay, we want to do this quick interview. I think the players are coming out. We just met some good friends sitting beside me. What are your thoughts about today? Uh, looking forward to the match. Vienna is a strong opponent, yeah. but I hope to see a good showing for Singapore. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And yourself? Uh, I just want to have a nice match, a good match to watch, and I hope Singapore can actually win this. Uh. Fair, fair. All right, and yourself, Joe? As both of them said, let's go Singapore! Yeah. Let's go Singapore! Come on, you lions! Uh, predictions for today? Um, I'm hoping Singapore get a 2-1 win. Okay, 2-1. Uh, yourself? A close game, 2-1 to Singapore. 2-1. 2-2, Singapore, Vietnam. Let's go. Okay, okay, so two.
Alright, so Singapore has kicked us off. It seems like Vietnam also has rotated their players today, right? So, you know, maybe it's got a better chance today for Singapore. Uh, George, what are your thoughts pre-game? Yeah, I mean, hearing that they rotated gives us a bit more of a chance, but, you know, I'm sure their second team is still really, really strong. So, yes, yes. nothing to discount there. Yeah, cannot take them for granted. You know, we can't take them for granted. And yeah, let's see how today's, uh, how today's affair is going to go, yeah? It's three minutes in. Just got to say that Singapore's a bit nervy right now. But the support at the grandstand on the third floor has been fantastic. The fans are up in arms. Uh, you know, it's really great to see. Hopefully, Singapore can compose themselves. Harris Harun gave away the ball in a precarious position. But, you know, it's still, as I say, nervy. All right, eight minutes in. Um, actually, the crowd here is fantastic, right? But some, I've been missing out some of the, um, the fans' reactions here. Really great to see, really great to see. Joshua, your thoughts about the first eight minutes? I mean, we are holding strong. It's still nil-nil, but, you know, we have to be careful with the balls over the top. That looks a bit dangerous right now. Yeah. By the way, we did not address this, but we realised that Irfan Fundy is right in the middle of the park. Oh, I think he moved to right side, right side the back again. It seems to be he's rotated back to right side of the back. Yeah. The, yeah. Like, uh, oh, they are like swapping, uh, yeah, swapping here and there. So, interesting to see Nishigaya uh, swapping Haris Harun and Irfan Fundy right, from a centre-back to a right centre-back role. Very interesting to see that. And yeah, first 10 minutes in. Singa Brigade is a full voice. Along with the Vietnam Golden Star, if that's what they call themselves. Alright, I was writing down some notes and then Vietnam had a good chance. The shot was quite an easy shot, but then Hazan Sani did not manage to yeah. uh, parry it quite uh, weak. And then the Vietnam main player almost capitalised with the mistake. And then I guess I want to say at the back, right, we've been quite, I mean, after that, that save, the defence was like all panicking, nobody wants to take the ball, everyone's like panicking, who's going to clear it? Quite a calamity. Josh, your thoughts about just the uh, Vietnam chance? Yeah, I mean, it was a close shave and we got lucky this time, but you know, sometimes you just got to clear, we got punished against Myanmar and the next time we allow Vietnam that kind of chance, they might just take it, so got to be more careful there. Got to be extra, extra careful there, right? All right, so it's still nil-nil here. Atmosphere is passing 12 minutes into the game. You'll love to see it. Let's go. It's a bit disorganised, the chance right now. So maybe with what we can improve on local games is maybe you can plant some people here and there to organise the chance. I think people are... If, look, the vibes are good. You just need to get some people get it going, yeah? Maybe I can volunteer myself, but I'm... I don't have the means to do it today. Maybe I just got to concentrate on the vlog. Josh, your thoughts about the first 20 minutes? Yeah, I completely agree with you on the, the crowd part. I think you'll do great, by the way. Yeah, yes, first 20 minutes, we're holding strong, but you know, the ball's over the top, as I said earlier. And Shakir looks a bit shaky. It's all, a lot of chances have come down inside. So, yeah, hopefully we're able to make a goal and try to see it out. Alright, Vietnam just had a good chance outside the box, 23 minutes in. And then, if you guys tune into the live stream of the preview of uh, Singapore when, when the goal difference we previewed, Joshua did mention that we should operate a 6 3 1 formation, which is clearly what's happening now. Nishigawa is kind of in, in defense. defense. Yeah, yeah, I think we are containing Vietnam very well. Your thoughts, you know, Joshua? Yeah, another tactical mind in the game. What are your thoughts about the 6 3 1 so far? Yeah, I mean, we see the wingers come back and form like additional fullbacks, which I said is classic Jose Mourinho, and we are seeing that and we are holding out really, really well. But that was very dangerous. Hassan was rooted on the spot. Very dangerous indeed. I, I think I did take a footage. Uh, Hassan Sani, like what Joshua said, was rooted to the ground. And the Singa Brigade still as loud. So finally, at least some synchronized chanting right now. Um, 30 minutes into the game. Just got to say that, um, you see, just to take note, right, guys, the support, the crowd are here. If you just have to guide them properly, they'll definitely sing along. You know, this goes to show that it's potential. Great atmosphere here today. I also want to say that, oh, Vietnam, is that offside? I think that's offside. Okay. Either ways, I wanted to say that um, 
Today's the games, of course, the tensions are high, but it seems very professional from both Singapore and Vietnam. Not, not so feisty like uh, as you are usually see. So it's good to see both sides being very professional about it. Nail Nail here, 30 minutes in, corner for Vietnam. Let me pan it to the corner. Just gotta say that we've been doing really well defending on the corners. You know, we got the body, we got the structure, we got a bit of the size. Anu Irfan Fandi with the size to help us uh, uh, clear those corners away. Hassan Sani been fantastic. Vietnam with a free kick. Penny to the free kick again. Quite a dangerous ball in for Vietnam. Josh, your thoughts? Constant stream of pressure now from Vietnam. You know, this is always a very dangerous period, the first, uh, the last 15 minutes before the break. So, hopefully, you can see it out at least to a nil nil at half time. Yeah, I think a nil nil at half time will be a great success for the national team, Singapore national team. Oh! So, like what Joshua said, I echo his sentiments as well. It's very nervy, right? Uh, the last 15 minutes before the first, before the first half comment, uh, ends. And you know when we soak in pressure, that's not really good. Like that day we have made uh, the Myanmar game as well. We were soaking in quite a lot of pressure for the 10 minutes before Myanmar scored, which is quite dangerous. Okay, so 32 minutes in. Shadan Sulaiman with a great ball to Haris Harun. Haris Harun plays it through up top to Ilhan Fandi. Ilhan Fandi got control of the ball, but he's down on the floor injured right now. Great chance. That was a good run of play, right? For drive on the goal kick. Yeah, I mean it's good, good, uh, well work to get him through. Good first touch, but then you know it looked like he lost control of the ball and he said people are coming for a penalty. I don't think so from here, but yeah, what do you think? Agree you? I 100% agree with you. There wasn't it wasn't a penalty shot, but I think Johan uh, had a good, uh, not really had a good touch. He had a good first touch of the ball, but then he, you know he lost control, and yeah, he's down on the floor. Hopefully he's all right. Joshua, who are your standout players so far in the first half? I'm going to go with Afan. I think he's been very, very solid at the back. And if I had to pick another, it would be Shah. I think his distribution has been good. He's been very composed on the ball, which is not always the case, I would say, yeah. for you know uh, Singaporean midfielders in general. Uh, yeah, these two for me. How about you? You know, it sounds a bit boring, but i got to agree with you. Uh, usually, our midfield is not our strongest forte, but Shadon Sulaiman and Shah Sharan have been doing really, really well. Uh, com composed in the midfield, getting us a bit... Uh, getting us control the, the midfield and dictating the play a bit more. Uh, Anu, Anu, you know, we have our reservations about him. He's going in very well in challenges, but he doesn't give much going forward, which is quite worrying to see, especially if we can't get the ball up in the advanced position. You know, we can't, we can't get the goals, we can't get Faris Wamli, we can't get Ilhan Fandi into dangerous positions. And Ilhan Fandi is back on the pitch, but he seems to be, his knee has been bandaged, bandaged up. So Joshua and I were saying off camera that he probably, is, yeah, he's probably going to be subbed off in half time. Yeah. Shawa Anwar is probably going to come on for him. Uh, yeah, it seems to be, we need to save him for Malaysia game, if he's not, if he's fit for the Malaysia game. He's a very crucial part of the game and it's corner now for Vietnam. Great, great, great to see Singapore good on the counter. You know, that was a good chance. You know, that's what we like to see. Uh, being, being decisive, I think that's very important. Being decisive on the counter. Josh, your thoughts about the counter? Brilliant from Ryan Stewart. Brilliant from Ryan Stewart. Good to see him starting, finally, in this AFF Mitsubishi Cup. Alright, 40 minutes in. It's going to be close to halftime. Alright, so it's halftime right now. Um, crowd has been amazing. Nail, Nail still here. Uh, Ilhan is unfortunately down. I think he's going to be subbed out half time. Hopefully, nothing serious. We can have him for the Bukit Jalil game. Uh, you know, before I give my post match, uh, sorry, post match, post half. <laughs> before I give my half time analysis, maybe I'll give it to Joshua first. You know, because I've been talking, rambling on as usual. Joshua, how do you find the half for Singapore? Yeah, I think you know, if you're given any Singaporean fan nil nil at half time, 99 percent will have taken it. There will be some say, no, 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 we got to go out there and get a goal. Yeah, but you know, I think it's been a very disciplined performance. For the most part, very, very solid. Ivan Fandi was exceptional. Um, yeah, I think really great. A few very good counter attacks. We talked about the one where Ilhan went through. We talked about the one where Raihan brought the ball up and then 
Chris playing quite a good cross, but you know, Neil Neil is really, really good and I love to see the 6 3 1. 6 3 1 indeed. It's good because I was telling Joshua right before we started this uh, clip is that, you know, it's good that we are playing this kind of Nishiga. Nishiga is in, uh, employing this kind of uh, formation because Malaysia, we're probably going to play the same way and get some reps for the, for the back line to absorb this kind of pressure. So we're definitely going to see Shawa Anwar coming on. Uh, my thoughts, I echo Joshua's sentiments as well, Nothing too, uh, not too much differing here, but I just got to say that it's good to see Singapore decisive. I think that's very important, right? When we're on the counter, be decisive. Don't, you know, take the ball, you don't know what to do, just play the ball, play hard. You know, let's go for, you know, we be confident in our balls and our, our attackers to make the chances, right? So like what he said earlier on, Chris, uh, Chris Van Husen had a good cross in on the counter and Shadon Sulaiman has been fantastic uh, breaking the play and, you know, getting us uh, in the advanced position. I think it's been a very disciplined performance, very good defensively for the most part, besides a few scares. Irfan has been exceptional for me and then we had a few good counter attacks. Talk about the ball to Ilhan where he unfortunately got injured and then also the cross from Chris which was really good. So I think we just have to keep at it and if you think about it, if we get a draw today, if we manage to hold on, we just need to go to Malaysia to get a draw, which is not say the easiest but it will put us in a very good position I would say. When we are on the ball, you know, Shadon Sulaiman, uh, what, Shah Shahiran, good to see them uh, controlling the midfield. And on the counter, they're playing very fast balls. Uh, as I said earlier on, we want to see this kind of decisive ball. Be decisive, you know, don't, don't be too half-hearted. Go at it, you know, let, give our attackers the chance. And, you know, we give them a good direct balls for them to take Venom and our opposition at the, you know, right at them. Take the game to them. So yes, uh, I think just now also we said that Irfan Fandi has been the standout player for uh, us together and Shah Shahiran as well, right? The two of them, uh, both Shah Shahiran and Irfan Fandi, fantastic performance at the half. We are going to unfortunately see Ilhan get subbed off because he suffered a neck. It looks like maybe yep. Song is going to come on. Wow. Song is on the pit. So maybe Song is a false nine. We did mention this, right? A possibility yeah. in the stream, right? Maybe Song is a false nine. Uh, Shawa Anwar maybe coming on later on because to use his pace to, you know, con uh, be a difference maker later on in the game. So yes, so Song could be coming on. He's not been fit. So I think that's why it's good to maybe give him a bit of rotation as well to come on and, you know, get the, the legs going and pot potentially be a starter against Malaysia. Anything else, Joshua? Yeah, I'm sure we'll see Vietnam make a few changes after the break as well, given that they rotated, you know. So we have to be careful of that and yeah, probably we might see some subs. Maybe Arno being sub for someone like Zofami. He's on a yellow from a very early minute and then he's been quite careless with his fouling as well. So I think he might be taken off and yeah, hoping for a good second half from Singapore. We'll see you guys at the start of second half. Good performance from the line so far. Alright, second half is about to commence. And then we were half right, we said that Song was going to come on right, yeah. but we didn't know that Shao Amra is also coming on, so two substitutes for Singapore. And if you are not wrong, the star player for Vietnam is coming on as well, so playing for the League 2, uh, this French team called Pau. Uh, what's his name? Huang Ho, Ho or something, I'm so sorry I don't get the name right, but he's a very electric winger, winger that we have to be uh, very careful about. Uh, what are your thoughts about Song and Shao Amra coming on? Yeah, I think it's good to see some fresh legs up front. And then, you know, after the next 15 minutes, we'll probably see some fresh legs in midfield. Yep, I think maybe Hami Shahin coming on later on as well could, you know, um, give a bit more balance on the midfield as well. Alright, so second half is comments. Fanfare has been fantastic. And yeah, I think the problem also is a lot of fans take too long. Lah. Seems to be quite, even Singapore Brigade you can see they're not back yet. <laughs> so yeah, second half has comments. Uh, let's see whether Singapore can hold up the intensity. Alright, Singapore starting brightly off the second half. I just got to say, got to give credit to Shah Shahiran. He's been fantastic, you know, uh, controlling the midfield. He's been going up, um, you know, helping out the, the forwards, bring the ball up for us. I think it's a, like a kind of a camp for us, right? Fantastic. Um, yeah, Shah Anwar came on also, looked really bright so far. Yeah. So, good to see. The crowd is rallying behind the boys. You love to see him, and it's really, really good to see. Nothing much to report, right, Josh? Just want to say that Singapore has been playing really bright uh, from the get-go. It's good to see intensity. We are matching Vietnam's intensity, and yeah, hopefully we can keep this up. You know, that's the the problem with Singapore is usually when the 70th, 80th minute, we our match fitness. You know, we are not up to standard. In my opinion, humble opinion. Josh, your thoughts? Yeah, I think Shawa and Song have been very, very bright. 
and a bit of a threat on the counter attack. So a really good. I think the fullbacks have been exceptional today, both uh, Chris and Raihan. So a really right choice of fullbacks, in my opinion. Good to see uh, going to the Malaysia game as well, right? Uh, that hopefully we can keep up this momentum and we are playing well against Vietnam. You know, it's good. You got to give credit where credit is due. Singapore, fantastic. Nail, nail, still 53rd minute. Let's go. Corner for Vietnam in the 58 minute. I hope I don't jinx it by taking this. Hopefully, it's, we can clear it. Hopefully, nothing comes out of it, please. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> 60 second minute, in. Vietnam free kick in a dangerous position. So it's 60 third minute, in. and then you know I've been chatting a lot to Liang Ming, a good uh, a new friend, right? Liang Ming, say hi. Hi, hi. All right, right. So what are your thoughts <laughs> about the game so far? I honestly think we're doing quite well, yeah. holding Vietnam so far. And we are showing better attacking moves this half as, this half as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good to see. Okay, I don't want to disturb you. Now the game is quite lively, right? So Singapore holding out really well. Shawa Anwar, good pace. Let's see whether he... Oh, come on! Oh, good pressing, good pressing. Singapore is pressing really good now. Okay, so it's the 66th minute and then uh, Zufami and um, Nazu. Nazu has came on for Chris Van Heusen and Anu. Anu has been subbed out. Okay, so it's 70th minute now and uh, Singapore is absorbing the pressure again. Uh, Joshua, your thoughts so far? It's 20 more minutes before uh, extra time. Yeah, I think it's approaching squeaky bump time, you know, we're going to get real nervy soon, so hopefully we manage to keep this discipline and you know, just have a bit of time wasting it. We just need a draw, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think a draw will be a magnificent result for us. So far, we are playing all right. We're playing, sorry, we're playing really, really good. All right, so let's see with the shawal or song. Oh, it's out. Okay, so seven to minute, like what Joshua said, it's going to be very nervy end to the game. But it's looking good. I don't think Vietnam is really dominating the game. I think we've got very good uh, fair share of the possession as well. So things are looking all right. But you never know football, right? Any glimpse of any mistake or the football, you know, the game can just turn on its head anytime. I just want to say. You know, Irfan Fandi, we called it early on, he's been a man of the match, he's been really a, a rock for us. But Hassan Sani has been, had a fantastic game today. Brilliant saves, I think he's got like three or four brilliant saves thus far already for us. Yeah, your thoughts about Superman Hassan Sani today, Joshua? Yeah, I don't think he's been overly tested, but you know, when he's been called into action, he's been very, very solid. Yeah. Superman Hassan Sani, man. Come on, you lines, just hold it up for a draw. Maybe even score a, a goal on the counter, yeah? I just got to say that compared to the Myanmar game, we we are really absorbing the pressure way better than Myanmar. I think Myanmar was playing their game much way better compared to how Vietnam should be playing. Um, Vietnam has been a bit poor today, but that's also to credit to Singapore as well. I think credit is uh, sorry. I I think Singapore has done well to uh, shake and you know test the res uh, test the Vietnamese here in Jalan Besar. Maybe Jalan Besar's atmosphere is also being the is is the, the difference maker for Singapore. Any thoughts, Joshua? Yeah, I think you could note that the Malaysia game would have taken a lot of Vietnam because they played, mm -hmm. I think, about an hour with 10 men. Well, Singapore had a relatively more comfortable game against Laos. Yeah. So, yeah, but Vietnam on the attack now. And... Oh. Missed kick. Yeah. Vietnam still attacking on the counter. Yeah, last 15 minutes, going to be very, very nervy. Oh. Vietnam, Vietnam had a really good possession of play in the 75th minute and thank God the, the player skied it high. And like what Joshua said, it's going to be very, very nervy. 20 minutes now, going to be 15 minutes to the end of the game. Yeah. Alright, 80th minute. Last 10 minutes of regulation time. Very nervy. Uh, I'll take it on some notes, but at the, I think the 77 minute or something, Vietnam had a good chance. They squared it in. It was very close. Oh! <laughs> Someone was saying about throwing another ball onto the pitch, and that's just what happened. That's exactly what happened. Another pitch was thrown onto the ball, so uh, onto the pitch. So <laughs> another ball was thrown onto the pitch. I apologize, and then you know, two two balls on the pitch, and the referee had to call off the play. Substitution for Vietnam. Uh, looks like another attacker. Yeah. So I just had to say early on that Vietnam had a very good chance. The wingers squared it in. It was very close to the goalpost, but nobody was there to reach uh, get to the receiving end. 
Uh, Hassan Sani was quite beaten right there. So if anyone at the far post would have tapped in easily, it would have been a goal. But thank God, nothing came out of it. 81st minute, uh, Vietnam with the lion's share of possession right now. It's, again, very nervy. As a Singapore, Singapore friends right now, everyone is right here is get a bit uh, quiet right now, right? Okay, just say that Singapore has the ball. Oh, good counter. Come on, Shawa. Shawa had a great chance on the counter, but he just did a bit indecisive on where he wanted to put the ball in. Uh, he's just put a, quite a weak ball into the box, and then nothing. Uh, Vietnamese, the Vietnamese players managed to clear it. Yeah. Uh, Song, Raihan Stewart were quite livid. I think they, they had a good chance to, if they had a connection to the ball, that would be a good chance for Singapore. Either way, it's 82nd minute. Ooh, tensions are high. I can't take it right now, to be honest with you guys. Oh. Oh my, 83rd minute in. Um, Vietnam with, again, lion share possession. Uh, one of the Vietnamese midfielders has so much space, nobody closed him down. He took a shot, took his chance and hit the post. Hassan Sani was rooted again on the ground. Oh my god, I, again, my heart cannot take it. We are defending for our lives right now. Vietnam has all possession. You know, it would be really heartbreaking if we concede a goal right now. Singapore has been playing really well and yeah, what the, Josh, your thoughts about just now? The, I think our midfielding closed him down well now. Yeah, the crowd could see a very, very close shave. And yeah, I mean, there's just one last minute to hold out. We're almost there, we're almost there. I hope I did that justice. The crowd was fantastic. Joshua was singing along. The song is still going on. Satunada is still going on. Come on, John. Come on, sing for the camera. Breaking, breaking. You see, Joshua almost started singing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opportunity. It's okay. I can lead that show. <laughs> So 88 minutes in, Singa Brigade is coming alive. Great to see that, you know, tail end of the game, Singa Brigade has been going at it the whole game. We love to see it. Again, one more thing I want to say that the crowd has been fantastic. You know, both the grandstand, the gallery, today's crowd. I, I, I guess you can hear it now, right? Eighty-eight minutes in, Vienna have a free kick. Top three players today, Shah Shahiran. I uh, would say for me, Irfan Fandi, Shah Shahiran, and who could, can I give the last player the nod? Mm. I'll say it was a tough one, but I'm going Ryan Stewart. Okay, yeah. Ryan Stewart has been lively up and down the flank, defending really well and you know, uh, being very supportive at the front as well. Satu Nadas, continuing.
they did, did they announce how again here the stoppage time? I think time. I saw five minutes. Five it's minutes. About five minutes. So five minutes. Squeaky bump time. Squeaky bump time. Hopefully no heartbreak. I mean we are very very nearly there. You're nearly there. Right at the finish line. Hopefully no foggy time for uh, Vietnam. Yeah. Possibly 95th minute right now. We have a free kick. Zufami, can he recreate some magic like the Laos game? Let's go, Zufami. Performance from the Lions. Nail, nail, it ended here. Oh. I will, we'll do a post match reaction probably on the way out. Uh, but initial thoughts, Joshua, what are your thoughts about this game? Come on, what did I say? What's up with all the negativity on the stream that day? You know, positivity all the way and what a result for Singapore. And now we go into Bukit Jalil just needing a draw. Hopefully, you get the win, but you know, take a draw through to the semi finals and we are going to be watching at the National Stadium. You know, it, 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 uh, it alleviates some pressure for Singapore, right, to get a... Uh, we don't really need a win, right? Let me have a seat first. Right, we don't really need a win at Bukit Jalil. A draw is just nice. Fantastic performance from the lads today, you know. Uh, again, we'll do our post-match reaction later. But initial thoughts. I agree with Josh. I mean, sorry. Josh has every right to come at me because I was very, very negative, you know. I thought we were going to get hammered today. But thank God the, the boys played a fantastic game today and a great draw, a great, great performance against one of the best sites in the AFF Mitsubishi Cup for 2022. So, uh, game has ended. I just wanted to do this part of the vlog just to say that, um, you know, it's good that the fans turn out in numbers today. But I think we as the community can do way better. Lah. Yeah, you see, look at, the, look, at the, look at all this. Look at all the trash that they leave behind. You know, I actually contemplated whether I wanted to do this section, right, this part of the vlog. But I think it's good because, you know, here we are trying to build a community. And, I, you know, this is, this is the truth, right? When, I don't want to be here in the goal difference vlog. I want to show as real as it gets. Quite disappointed today, to be honest. Look at all the trash. Yep, it's quite sad to see. You know, 
just uh, if this goes viral, I just hope that we as Singaporeans can do better, right? And look at Joshua, what a man, he's picking up the trash. Right, Zach as well, trying, uh, we are doing our best to pick up the trash. You know, it's sad to see, right? we can do better, lah. we can do better. Yeah, so wait for our post-match reactions, it's gonna come soon. I'll try and clear some trash as well on my part. You know, let's see where we can, yeah, we'll just do our part here as a community, all right? Look at this, look at, look at Zach and look at Josh. Look at that, picking up the trash, doing our part, yeah? Clearly, I mean, not clearly, but we can't take all of it, but let's do, just do our little bit to help, you know? We can do way better, lah. I mean, maybe they can put more trash bags around. I think there's a lack of trash bags here. But it would be good if there's more trash bags and people will be, you know, a bit more enticed to help clear. Yeah, it's quite disappointing. But at the end of the day, we as a, you know, we can improve, we can improve. You know, like this community as well. Me, you know, Josh, Brandon, myself, the goal difference. Uh, you know, we, we are trying to improve the community. Lah. Yep. Okay, so I just as I said that, uh, you know, at least I did critique. Uh, I did critique early on about Singaporeans and our society not clearing the church, but as you can see from there, at least you know majority of us did our part. So that's good to see. Let's try and hope that we can incorporate better values at the games, and it'll be you know all fun and dandy. Great time, great exposure, a great day today. And okay, let's move on to our post-match reactions, right? Zach and Joshua are getting acquainted right now. I'll do my end, right? I have notes in my end. You know what? Let me take out my notes too. So as I said in the previous vlog, I wanted to do uh, better, right? Oh no, I'm just rambling on sometimes. I don't even know what I'm saying. So at least I have my handy dandy notebook. Thank you, mom, for helping me print this. It's got a very nice gold difference notebook. If you guys are interested, maybe I can print more next time to sell or to give away. Okay, so what are the notes for today? Uh, Nishigaya with a good defensive master plan today. He adopted, he adapted Irfan Fandi and Haris Harun to you know rotate from as a right centre back and a centre back. Fourth minute, Anu had a yellow card, very early yellow card, which is quite you know it could have been very dangerous, but you know thank God he didn't get sent off or you know he, he played more careful, right? Um, I won't go through all my notes; it's a bit too long. But yeah, I think first half we were soaking the pressure. Overall, we were doing very well, and they went into the uh, Shah Shahiran and uh, Irfan Fandi was our man of the match in the first half. I think they were they were fantastic. Second half, right? The second half, uh, Song came on, Shawa Anwar came on, Ilhan came off with an injury. Uh, it's a bit um, worrying to see. Ilhan's an important part of the lineup. And yeah, Shawa came on, looked very bright. I think the first 10, 10 15 minutes of the second half we were very, very bright. It was good to see. Intensity was matched against the Vietnamese. And before I move on, I just got to say that the Vietnamese were a bit off form today. You know, they're not their usual caliber. And maybe uh, we can take pride that Singapore played well against them. Or you can also say that maybe it's just an off day for Vietnam and we capitalize on our, you know, on their off day. So, other notes I have to say, Nishigaya with a great game plan today. I think Vietnam was lackluster, as I just said. And um, 5,434 people in the crowd today. So, you know, as I said, a, a good turnout from at the Jalan Besar Stadium to support the lads. And just last but not least, the last 15 minutes, I think we were really, really soaking the pressure. Um, and it's good to see that we held out for a draw. I think Vietnam had two great, great chances that they did not capitalize. But, you know, it's just luck as well. I think we were very lucky that, you know, they did not capitalize on their, their chances. So that is my post-match reactions. As you can see, Joshua and Zach getting acquainted because, you know, um, I think it's their first time meeting together and, you know, two tactical minds. Joshua is a great tactical mind, Zach as well. I'm just the guy that talks a lot of rubbish <laughs> and moderate. And yeah, with that, I think I'm going to walk to the gallery. Maybe you can see some of the Singa Brigade. Talk to what, Murph, maybe Caleb, uh, Ashraf, all these play, uh, people. Maybe we can see where we can do a short interview with them. But yeah, Vietnamese, the Vietnamese were a leg last today, but their fans were in full support. Great to see that. As I'm struggling to put my book in the, uh, my bag. Yeah, overall, good atmosphere today. Good atmosphere. Okay, so I'll be right back. Maybe um, do an interview with some of the Singapore Brigade members and also maybe 
ask Joshua and Zach about their thoughts in this this game between Singapore and Vietnam at Jalan Besar. Nail, nail, fantastic perform performance from the Lions. And also, I forgot to mention that it's good that we took a we managed to get a point here, so it alleviates, like as I said earlier, it alleviates pressure for the boys to do to get a win because we just need to play for a draw at Bukit Jalil, and Bukit Jalil is going to be a feisty affair and atmosphere. So it potentially it can go either way, but thank God at least we only need to get a draw. So we are walking to the gallery, and then I just bump into a great, great friend, Confedro. You know, he's been part of the streams, he's been supporting the page. Really, really appreciate it, bro. How are you doing today, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, even better is the score today. Yeah. I mean, even though we didn't score, but like you know, at least it's a decent result. Yeah. It's most definitely. Football. Most definitely. A uh, very nervy performance, but I got to say, Singapore played their hearts out today. It was a really, really good performance. Uh, maybe Vietnam, you could say they were a bit lackluster, but you know, I think defensively we were really, really sound. Irfan yeah. Fandi, yeah. uh, Shah Shahiran as well. I think yeah. fantastic players. Yeah. Who are your standout players today? Kept running. I think um, who? I got to say, actually, yeah, I agree with you, Irfan Fandi. Yeah. Uh, I think Raihan was. Oh yes, Raihan was. Yeah, very lively. And it's his first yeah. start. Yeah. So it's good to see, you know, first start yeah. for him and very lively, very lively up behind and the back as well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Keep a lot of focus. Uh, very yeah. good going forward. Yeah. Uh, offensively, defensively, and I think just the whole team, you know, how they they kept their shape. I think. Yes. Wow. Kudos, man. Kudos, man. You know, you were watching my stream. I was, I, I was very, very negative about Singapore, right? But you know, it's great to see. We like what you say. We kept the structure well. We held on under pressure really well. The last 15 minutes was very nerve wracking, man. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it was really, really nerve wracking for me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, you know what? I'm gonna catch up with you later. Cheers, mate. You know, I really do appreciate the support from hey, you. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, we will definitely catch up soon. Yeah. Right? For definitely. sure. Yeah, cheers, man. Okay. All right. It's good to see you see all of us gathering here. You know, Michael, Sal, Zach, George, himself, all talk about the football. Uh, mingling a bit of the Singapore Brigade. That's the problem. So let us talk about football. You know, I'll be back with you guys soon. The home team has never won. Okay, so I'm with the lads, right? Sal, I know you guys seen Sal from the previous stream. You seen that? Yeah, Sal in the previous stream. We got Zach. They just hit me with a very, very interesting fact. Zach, take it away. So in the AFF Suzuki Cup in Singapore, Malaysia encounters, the home team has never won. Come on, Singapore, we're going to make it through progress to the semi-finals. And you know what, let me pass my time over to Sel. Sel, how do you find about today's game? Actually, today's game, right, uh, it's all about, you know, uh, the players you know, doing their job very well. As I, I was saying, right, Myanmar, uh, Myanmar, Vietnam was very poor in the, in the wings. So that's the reason why we play very wide and they really pressured on the wings. Yep. And one thing is also the crowd. So I already said many times, you know, JBS, we, have, we are playing in the home turf. We are playing on, uh, you know, the fake grass. So that's why I say we have a, a home advantage, you know. If you can score it, you score. But, and then the fans also, right, today did their, did their part and it was quite noisy also. So yep. uh, thank, thanks, thank you to the fans uh, because I think the players also feel back to me that they can hear from the pitch and that, that's what, you know, Burn their passion and makes that, a difference. Yeah. That makes a difference, right? That makes a huge difference, yes, man. Yes. Uh, you know, so five thousand four hundred so, strong today. Yeah, that's why. And and ninety eight percent are all Singaporeans. So yeah, thank you, fans. Yeah, thank you for supporting them. All right, awesome, awesome. And now we'll pass the time to Zach as well. Zach, why well, I didn't pass the time over to you just now? What's your post match reactions for the game? I know you were very happy about yeah. how we lined up today, and I think yeah. rightly so. Zach, another tactical mastermind, you know. <laughs> Maybe Nishigaya should hire him as his assistant, <laughs> right? Zach, like, your thoughts about today? I mean, the game plan was. As predicted, as predicted, it was quite simple. Yeah. But I had, we had, we had to go out to the players today because the game plan was not anything revolutionary. You know, we just sit back, compact and deep. But the players delivered the game plan. We we put our bodies on the line. Whatever happens, and the goal didn't go in, and we were rewarded. So now we just need to go to Bukit Jalil and make sure we don't lose. So which is a big relief as compared to we have to win. Thanks. So thanks. So thanks to all the players for all the effort today. Was, today was incredible. Yep, like what Sal and what Zach said, right? I think the fans made the difference and then Zach, you know, we are all very appreciative of the players. Players' energy and, you know, the desire to get a victory today. But, you know, it was a draw, but it's still a very, very good performance from the lads. We have a very, very special guest on the vlog today. Uh, we met him through Sal uh, and he's also part of the Singer Brigade, right? And he's one of the members of the Jack Force for Tanjung Paga. Sir, what's your name? Introduce yourself to the vlog. I mean, you know, people in the football fraternity know me as Kimi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm part of the Jaguar Force, hardcore Tanjung Maga supporter since the early 2000s. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, it is, yeah. What, 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 what else oh, okay, all right, all right. So <laughs> maybe I'll, 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 I'll pose you the questions. So first of all, thanks for being on the blog. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. So firstly, how do you find today's atmosphere at Jalan Besar Stadium? Honestly, for a very small stadium, I mean, we can't deny that it's, it is a small venue and, you know, amazing. It's really amazing, you know. Uh, really thank you to all the, the fans uh, who came down. You know, they really made it special uh, for the national team. You know, it may have been a draw, but it, it the feels heart like was a win. There. The, the heart passion was, was there. there. The passion was there. Yeah. You know, we can't we can't expect more. Yeah, right? we can't expect more. It's yeah, amazing. It's amazing win in a way. Yes. For us yes. and the fans are. Uh. Yes. Okay. And then you know today's uh, atmosphere was good. How do you find today's uh, line? The, the, I'm sure we played. Better than expected, right? I would assume so. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you know, I've been following the game since the start. Uh, you know, you can see that that Myanmar, the game against Myanmar, we we, we slacked off a little bit yeah. in defense. You know, we considered those two goals. Uh, you know, the game against Laos, heart stopping really. Like, you know, really like felt like are we going to win this? I think yeah. the Laos was a very disappointing yeah. game. Yeah, are we going to win this or not? So, I'm glad we came off with the three points yeah. and. For this game, you know, the odds are against us. The odds are stacked against us like crazy. We are facing the top-ranked ASEAN team. Yeah, in this whole tournament. In this whole tournament. Yeah. And, you know, 0-0. Zero, zero. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's one-point game, then it's yeah. one-point game. It's, a, it's, it's more than means the eye, right? It seems like a normal nil-nil draw, but if you look at how we've been playing, you know, you see how we are going up against Vietnam, a very strong side. A nil-nil is like a victory for us Singaporeans, right? Definitely. Last but not least, how about giving a few uh, words about the Jack Force, right? You know, you guys yeah. are very passionate fans from Tanjung Kwaga. You know, maybe just give a word or two about who you guys are and what you guys do and, you know, maybe rally some more support for Tanjung Kwaga. <laughs> so basically, we are Jack Force. We are supporters, a group of, you know, Tanjung Baga United, uh, the most, arguably the most historical club in Singapore, arguably. We have, you know, we've been around since the 60s. So, uh, you know, for us, yes, it's difficult. I understand, you know, people living in Queenstown, we, our heritage, our whole historical ground is Queenstown, and we have supporters in Queenstown, and you know, some of them may be elderly, but do come down to Jurong East Stadium. You know, yes, it may not be our home ground in a way, but let's make Jurong East Stadium like Queenstown Stadium of the 90s, man. We need your support. You know, yes, the team may be small, small in a way. Yeah. Uh, the team may be, you know, going through trying like, times. Going yeah, through trying times. Trying yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't no sailors. We ain't no sailors. We ain't no Tampines Rovers. But if you watch the team, you know, over the past two seasons, especially the heart, the heart is there. Yeah. And hey, if okay, if that doesn't pull you to Tanjung Baga. Take a look at our technical team, yo. If we got no Alam Shah, we got Ridwan Muhammad. The legends of the sport. Yeah, yeah. legends of the sport. We have no Alam Shah in uh, Indra Shadan, Ridwan Muhammad, we have Fajr Sarib, we have uh, you name it, yeah. uh, we have everyone, <laughs> Ashrin Jailani. So just come on down. You know, you can see your legends in action, you can see your, you yeah. know, it's Tanjung Baga, man. Historically, one of the most, uh, you know, with so much history, so much heritage, right? So definitely, you know, we, the goal difference, we're going to do like a preview shows in the upcoming, uh, before the upcoming SPL season. And then we're definitely going to see more of every fans group, you know, even the Jack, the Jack Force, you know, how gang who's whatsoever. Anyways, I think for today, that's it. That's it. Thank you very much for the interview, mate. You know, no it's good to fi finally meet you in person. <laughs> you know, cheers, mate. Yes, and yes, yeah, yes. take care. Take care. Stay on top. Okay, so... You know, it's been what, it's now what, 11.20, we were spending a lot of time talking to good friends of the community, you know, Singa Brigade and whatnot. Uh, I did say that I want to pen my time over to Joshua, just now I gave my post-match reaction already. So Joshua, what are your thoughts about today's game? Yeah, I think lineup spot on from the start. Um, back three already said, you know, this is what I wanted, this is what we got. Yep. But what I didn't expect was Irfan in the centre for most of the game. Yep. And I thought he was the best player out there. And, you know, for Malaysia, don't make too many changes, don't overcomplicate things. Same back three, same uh, midfield five. But, you know, I would say that, you know, up front has to be Song and Chawal mm. after the second half. After, especially with Johan uh, picking up a potential an injury, right? So maybe not playing, um, maybe Ilhan not starting for Malaysia could be the option, yeah? Like what yeah, I thought, you know, second half intensity from Song and Chao was up there yeah. compared to the first half, you know, yeah. Ilhan and Faris, you know, rightly taken off at half time, I thought, and then second half, 
shower and song really helped us see it through. There are a few scares at the end, the shot that hit the post, mm. a few crosses that looked quite dangerous. But overall, I thought you know, Vietnam had quite a poor game, in yeah. my opinion. Um, they seem to be struggling with the pitch a little bit. But, you know, no no against Vietnam, a team who made it to the last round of the Asian uh, World Cup qualifying, is a really, really wonderful job. And Singapore deserves all the credit they can get. Most definitely. You know, as much as... As again, I said earlier on, I'm, I was a bit negative about Singapore's chances today, but fair play to the boys, you know. I really good job, and like what Joshua said, right, in the stream, you know, Joshua has been always very on about his predictions and his lineups and all, and today's performance goes to show that, yeah, like what Joshua has always said, right, play your position, play your players in their rightful positions, and they will turn out better, right? I think enough of this, like, experimenting around, which is Fair enough, you can experiment here and there, but you know now we've got the, like what Joshua is saying, for it, 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 the game against Malaysia at Bukit Jalil, we already got a tactic here today that is tried and tested. We go for it again, you know, we go at it. And yeah, it's, as I said earlier, I think it alleviates the pressure for Singapore because we don't have to get a win at Bukit Jalil, just a draw will see us through to yep. the next round. You know, I'm so hopeful. I'm really hoping that we can get through the next round so that we can see Singapore supporting the Lions in the National Stadium. I think that would be a rocking atmosphere. Alright, so I'm going to meet some other friends now maybe you can interview them for their post-match reactions and yeah if not this is probably yeah I don't think I want to do an outro because we're going to have supper and whatnot so this is going to be the outro right at the end so thank you everyone for supporting the page uh, today's game was fantastic atmosphere was good as I said just now in the small clip at the end maybe we could do better cleaning up the stadium but you know can't be perfect yeah with that being said thank you so much Brendan and Joshua from the Gold Difference we are signing out cheers guys see you guys soon